Russell again with Arkansas Drone Solutions. I'm outside with my Phantom 4 RTK remote and base station and I've been marking a few points in my yard just to see how it works. I will back up and show you how I connected and was able to mark points. So the first thing you want to do is boot up both your remote and your base station. You can see three, three green dots here, one flashing. Three flashing lights indicates that you're in the correct mode, which is mode three. You wanna have three green lights to show you're connected and everything's good to go. So on the remote, you click on plan. Oop. That will take you into walk with handheld hand, hand RTK. And you can see I have a fixed position. I've already set it up so I'm good to go. I know everything works. You must have a Wi-Fi connection or a hotspot and be connected to your custom RTK network. Uh, I've already, I'm assuming you know how to do that. If not, uh, you can contact me or watch a YouTube video on how to connect with your custom RTK network. So what we wanna do here is back up and show you how I connected. So I'm gonna de-link my base station. So I'll click on the DJI, I'll back out of that and click on the quadcopter symbol, then DRTK. And then I'm gonna click on linking again. And so it's gonna ask you, you wanna click on handheld stick, walk with network RTK, okay. It's gonna wanna make sure you have a good connection to keep answering the questions. Then when it's ready to link, what you wanna do is go up here on your remote or your base station and press the far left button it will flash, beep at you, and turn green. And then you know you're linked and you'll have a successful linking on your remote. And then you just click done. Close that out. Then you wanna click on handheld stick again, just to make sure everything's good, back out of it. Then you will go to plan on your remote. Then walk with handheld RTK. And you can see I have a single message up here that needs to be fixed my accuracy says it's 62.7 inches right now so i'm going to have to wait a few minutes until i get a fixed position uh, initially when i set it set it up it took me about 10 minutes to get to that fixed position don't know if it was my iphone my hotspot not a good signal to the cores network that i'm on or what it was but i'm going to wait for it to come up and then i'll get back to you okay i'm back I forgot one step. So since I disconnected my base station and basically reset everything, I'm going to have to go in and tell it to connect to my custom network again. So you click on the RTK and then service type. You want custom network. And you can see that I have network RTK successful. And you can see my information on both uh, screens here from the custom network and the handheld RTK. And I've got a fixed position, so I'm ready to mark point. Okay, I'm going to start my points. Let me start over here. Let me cancel that. So I'm going to click on set point, current coordinate. I'm going to click on the screen just for convenience. I'm going to say P1, position 1, and save it. Now I'm ready to move to the second point. So we'll walk over here. Again, you can hit C2 or just hit the button on the screen. I'm gonna call it P2, save it. Then I'll move up. Zoom down a little bit. C2, position three, and you can name it whatever you need to. And then I'll move over and do my fourth position. Okay, it just gave me a message that my precision, precision is accuracy is off. That must be due to my network signal from my iPhone. I'm in a bad cell area, so I'm going to mark my fourth position. I lost my accuracy for a second, then I got my signal back. So I'm going to click on C2 again, name it position four, 
save. Now I want to save the whole project. I'm going to call it yard two. Okay. So I've saved those positions. You can see them on the map. It worked like it's supposed to. So I will show you how to export those points here in a minute. Okay, so now you have your points saved. You have a SD card slot on the side of your Phantom 4 RTK remote. You'll need to have a SD card in it. Then you click on the three lines on your screen, go down to the bottom where it shows a picture of SD card. You'll have the option to export handheld the RTK point task. You'll click on it. And then there's yard, yard two. So I'm gonna export it and it saves it to your SD card. You take it out, it's saved as a text file and you can use it from there. That is how you export.